Hey guys, I am um, I'm back with another virus review video. This one is called the Brontok virus. As you can see, you would just assume this was a folder. You could call it like uh, I don't know. It looks like a folder. It looks like any average folder. However, it's not a folder. You can tell because I'm having two folders in the same directory. You can also tell if you go to Tools, Folder Options, View and hide extensions for known files turn that off you can actually it's uh, .exe so uh, it's called the full name is emailworm.win32.win32.brontok uh, and if you run it it opens a folder which adds to the illusion of it being a folder um, so yeah, you can also tell it's not a folder because this has open explore search. This one it just has open run as pin to start menu, which you can't do with a folder. So um it's now present in memory. Let's see if it's open in a processes. Is it here in processes? Um Ooh. Don't think we'll be able to see it. Um applications. So anyway, things seem to be working normally, but if uh, the way this virus works is okay, fine, let's do it like this. Uh, so if the title bar, like this title bar, is untitled Notepad, if the title bar has specific strings in it, it will um, shut down the computer. So. Uh, allow me to demonstrate if I save this I what's wrong with this hmm hmm what's happening this is not part of the virus um hmm well, I wonder what's happening. Hmm, let's see if this happens on my normal computer. Nope, fine like this. Hmm. How very strange. I don't believe that's part of the virus. Ah, if I try and run it again, it just comes up with properties no that's not right it seems to think that I'm holding shift but I am not hmm oh no it seems to think I'm holding alt right it thinks I'm holding alt Hmm. My old key stuck. There. Perfect. Sorry about that. Um. So if I say this has .exe, it will recognise that there's .exe in the title bar, and it will shut down. This can get very annoying. Although I don't see why it would be that much of a problem, because not many people have .exe in the title bar. Um. But this gets even more annoying, because if you try to remove the virus, it becomes it, it becomes quite a challenge. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Uh, let's try and run red edit. Oh. Ah, there. Shuts down the computer. That is very strange. Usually it says registry editing has been disabled by an administrator, and then it shuts down your computer. But I guess that's just another case of virus is not working on camera. Um, so we'll shut down. So, uh, I would try and boot in, um, yeah, so it, it also shuts down if it has registry in the title bar. Um, so I would try then to try, um, MS config, but of course that also, um, doesn't work. So let's try and remove this virus. So safe mode with command prompt. 
Uh, um, there. Okay, lovely command prompt window. Let's log in as the administrator. Why not? Uh, and then let's try and launch Reddit. Reddit. Okay, that seems to work. Um, while that's there, let's also try. Um, hmm, where would it be? Let's try and open Task Manager. Oh. Okay, well, let's go to uh, Software, Microsoft, Windows. If you if you don't know where I'm going, I am trying to find all things that will start up when the computer starts up. So should... now this looks a bit suspicious. Bronze Phyatus. Let's delete that. Um, let's also MS config. Oh, run. Let's try here. Okay. So um, processes. Um, hmm. Performance networking uses. I can't remember where it is. All the things that say that it's gonna start up when um sorry that it's gonna start when the system starts up. Let's try okay MS config. There, that lets it run. Um boot dot any let's see where's this going Okay, right. Hmm. Start up here. This is what I want. Jack V box tray. Okay. Now let's go to um documents and settings. I want to say. Let's say just run this. Uh, documents and settings. All users. Start menu. Programs. Start up. Anything in here? Anything at all? Nope. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. Um. Let's see if we can find it with any users. Let's just search. Uh, all files and folders. All are part of the file name. Start up. Search. Right, so in here, nothing in here, nothing in here, nothing in here, MS DOS, and in here, JCOS. Right, uh, okay, so it doesn't look like anything too suspicious, but I've deleted this registry key, so now when we shut down, hopefully, um, it will be fine. Oh, yeah, one more thing I want to try. If I try and save it now as .exe, that's fine, it doesn't shut down. So well, let's turn this off, restart, and hopefully that would have removed the virus. But I'm not so sure. This virus does seem to be pretty tricky to remove. Um, okay, now let's try again, let's go to... Save this as dot exe. Replace it, yes, now has dot exe. Well, it looks like this is pretty annoying to remove. The best course of action I'd say would be to reinstall Windows. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching guys, and uh, yeah.